What's up guys? I feel that it is just about time that we had a real brief chat, just one-on-one, -on -one, just me and you, about this new NVIDIA RTX graphics card launch happening on September 20th that they announced just a couple days ago at Gamescom. So, let's talk. Now, I'm not going to get into the specifics about the cards. For that, there's a million other videos and articles out there that you guys can check out. And honestly, if you guys are watching this, it's likely you already know the details about the RTX 2070, RTX 2080, and RTX 2080 Ti. NVIDIA's brand new ray tracing focused graphics cards that are going to revolutionize not only the market, but according to them, revolutionize how we measure performance. And it actually is that that I want to briefly talk about. Because it seems like that statement by NVIDIA and the demonstrations that they had on stage or even the lack of demonstrations that they showed on stage is what really is driving the conversation right now regarding what exactly NVIDIA is doing with this new generation. Should you buy it? Is it worth it? Why didn't they show any real FPS demos on stage? Why haven't they put out a whole lot of information to the public about the generational improvements and the performance of these cards? People are almost losing their minds trying to figure all this out. And I'm not getting here to tell you that I have all the answers, but I definitely have at least some stuff to say. For now, I could definitely tell you that I remain a little bit skeptical about what we're going to see when these cards are launched. But before we dive into specifics about maybe why I'm skeptical, just keep in mind that skepticism is a healthy thing in limited quantities. You don't wanna go through life as a skeptic, being skeptical of everything, cause then that kinda sucks the joy out of your life. However, when you're given some data, but not all of the data, and the data that you're given is kind of obscured in some very weird ways. It's healthy to be skeptical about that data. And this is kind of exemplified by the performance charts that NVIDIA released to the public to quell some of our confusion and doubt about what they announced the other day. So two days ago, they showed this slide. This chart was put out by NVIDIA the other day and what it's supposedly showing or what NVIDIA wants us to believe that it is showing is performance scaling between the GTX 1080 and the RTX 2080 in certain titles. Now ignore the bright green spots for now. Uh, those are actually just relative to something called DLSS or deep learning super sampling, which we're not going to touch on in this video. Uh, it's a pretty cool technology, but it's not really relevant for what we're talking about. The problem that I have with how NVIDIA is publishing information is this chart in and of itself literally has no meaning. And the reason that it has no meaning is because nothing is labeled. We don't know what exactly we're looking at. And the little text at the bottom right hand corner says data measured at 4K resolution, which sounds great, which means, okay, so I guess we're looking at frames per second at 4K in these titles by these cards. But does it really mean that? We don't know and we hope that that's what it means. I hope that that's what it means. To be honest with you, I am a fan of NVIDIA. I'm a fan of AMD, I'm a fan of Intel. I wanna see them all succeed. I wanna see them all bringing innovation to market. I wanna see them pushing each other to be better. I wanna see competition in this space. That's what's going to drive the industry forward. That's where we're gonna see big leaps and bounds as they try to compete for your market and mind share. That's what's gonna make everybody happier in the long run if all of these companies do well and are able to innovate. So I'm rooting for NVIDIA. I want this to mean this is a frame rate representation as far as what you're gonna see in these games. But do we know that that's what this is? We do not 
because they did not label anything. There's no units on here. What are we looking at? I put out a tweet the other day that kind of got a lot of attention that yes, this could mean performance, but data collected doesn't specifically state what data they're collecting. What data are they collecting? Is this frame rate? Great. Is this power consumption? Maybe. It could literally mean anything else. Anything else. What I said in my tweet is it could mean angle of GPU sag. We don't know because there's no label on the chart. It doesn't say what this information means. I don't like the way Nvidia put this out there specifically and meaningfully vague. They, they did not tell us exactly what this chart means and I don't know why that is. I wish that they would clarify what exactly data collected means. What data were they collecting? How were they collecting it? Is this a measure of actual performance, actual in-game rendering performance in frames per second of these titles? That would be awesome. That's what we want. But for a large company with a large marketing department and a large budget to put out what I see as an intentionally extraordinarily vague diagram that's basically open to interpretation kind of leads me to think that there's not there's some data that they don't want us to know at least just yet the people who are out there in the media right now kind of just eating this up and saying well nvidia answered our questions here is the performance data they've done it again generation over generation look at this 50 percent improvement in games that really kind of grinds my gears I am not the most technical reviewer. I am not the best investigator out there. I'm not gonna dig up all this information that might be hidden. I don't have sources at companies that I could tell me, whispered in my ear and, and gave me this information. I'm not that person. But I am somebody that understands what a vague chart like this could mean I understand the importance of scientific accuracy when it comes to displaying information like this and I'm also very much aware how statistics and results can be manipulated to show a result that is beneficial to any particular party depending on the way it's spun I don't want my data spun I want it to be unable to be questioned and interpreted in any way except exactly what it is. And if NVIDIA has a product that, as they say, performs X times better than a GTX 1080 Ti, why wouldn't they just come out and say that, or at least if they're going to release a performance comparison chart, put numbers or labels on this chart? What do these numbers mean? What data are they collecting and how do they collect it? That information is immensely important. This is not just a PC hardware problem. This is a, a science issue. This is not how scientific data is collected and presented. If you were in science class in middle school and you gave the teacher this chart and said, this is, these are my results, you would fail because this chart in and of itself means literally nothing. Another point of contention that I have is with this next slide. Now this slide actually gives us some concrete numbers on performance in games at 4K. So that's good. However, there, are, there is no mention of settings or any other test variables that were used. So what do these numbers mean as far as translating to 4K performance in real world scenarios? Are you willing to play a game at 4K if you the only way that you can get 60 plus frames per second is to play it at potato settings? I know that personally I am not, and I would hope that that's not how they're testing. But again, there's so much vagueness here we don't know. I was actually able to take a GTX 1080 Founders Edition, stock clocks, and test it at 4K 
in Far Cry 5 and get this result. Now with a little overclocking, a little tweaking, that number could easily be 65, 67 frames per second compared to what they're showing that their 2080 does, which is 71 frames per second in this test. How was I able to do it? Well, I just took all the settings that I could, put them all the way down and ran the benchmark. And you know what? My result says, if you just look at the numbers, that it's very close to what NVIDIA is saying the 2080 can do. Does this mean that the 2080 was tested at these low settings? No, and I would hope not, but do we know? And that is basically what I am trying to convey to you and what I was trying to convey on Twitter as well. Just have a little bit of healthy skepticism when it comes to these releases and the information being put out by manufacturers. The manufacturers and their marketing divisions are in business to make you want to buy this product. They are not necessarily here to tell you the truth if they can avoid it. That doesn't mean that they're always lying to you, once again, but make sure that the information you're able to parse about whatever product you wanna buy is real, it's accurate, it's meaningful. So I guess when it comes down to it, I'm not necessarily upset with NVIDIA for this product release in and of itself. I am very happy that they are trying to innovate, they are trying to push forward, they are trying to make ray tracing a thing, they are using deep learning super sampling to improve performance in some games. I think that a lot of things that Jensen talked about on stage were really positive and really good and especially applications that are going to be able to take advantage of the AI features and the deep learning features of the Turing architecture are really gonna benefit from this release. But the mass market, what we as consumers are looking for is just games, let's be honest. Most of us just want a game. Is this going to be a gaming release? They seem to be telling us that this is going to be a revolutionary gaming experience without actually saying those words. We need the data for ourselves. Don't pre-order these cards. Don't buy into the hype. Just wait. NVIDIA might be proven right. They, all those charts might be 100% accurate. They might mean frames per second. They might be testing in ultra settings. We will find out. The reviewers will find out for you. We'll put that information out there on our channels for you guys to digest for yourselves. Personally, when I'm gonna run my tests, I'm gonna tell you, what CPU I'm using, what motherboard I'm using, what memory configuration I'm using, what power supply I'm using, what storage I'm using, what settings I'm using in games, any other information that might be relevant to you guys and real world gaming scenarios, I'm gonna tell you. So that if you go home and you have the same setup that I do, you could expect just about the same performance. But without all of that additional data that means so much, the bottom just falls out of whatever results you're going to show. If I were to just run some tests and give you a number, if I were to just say the RTX 2080 runs Doom at 190 frames per second, and that's all I said, would you really trust that? Would you know what that means? Is that, is that at 4K? Is that at 1080? Is that at 1440? Is it at 720p? There's no way to know. And if I'm being purposefully vague, you have every right to be skeptical about what I'm saying. So be a little skeptical. I think it's kind of healthy and I root for Nvidia. I hope that these cards are great. I hope that it's a revolutionary experience. I hope that everybody who pre-ordered it is going to be extraordinarily happy and not regret any purchase. But as of now, we don't know and you shouldn't make any assumptions. So that's it. I was kind of rambly here, as I thought may happen. But thanks for watching this whole video if you got this far. Um, and I will definitely be seeing you for the launch. See you guys later.